Would napalm go through the screen? And does the wizard know how to make napalm? I'm gonna make a version of it. <gasps> we made Sterno. Hey, welcome back to Faraday Studios, home of the wizards. I'm Jake Wizard 4, I'm so glad you're here. And most of the time we have young people here teaching them to think like a scientist, but I thought I'd do a little advanced chemistry uh, for this activity, that's why there's no kids in here. And there's another giveaway too. You look at the tabletop here, and I've got a fire extinguisher sitting there next to me. Here we go, do we have the insurance form filled out? We get a lot of questions about things. And one of them, of course, is about you know Michael Faraday, our namesake. And there's this picture on the wall, we keep him lit up. And right next to him is a lamp hanging on the wall. That's a, a Davy safety lantern, it's named after Sir Humphrey Davy. And Michael worked for him at the Royal Institution in London back in the early 1800s. And, and that lamp, uh, we've done sessions on it, I'm not gonna do it today, but it's a safety lamp and it would stop uh, flames. There was a flame inside there and they'd go down a coal mine and of course it would blow up if they hit gas or coal dust. And uh, Davy came up with the idea of wrapping the flame in a screen. The screen conducts the heat away, so the gas can still go through, but it's not, it's not glowing, it's not flaming. So anyway, somebody said, hey, uh, would, would napalm go through the screen? You're, you're, you're a wizard for, you should know this. I go, I don't know. A gaseous flame will not pass through a screen sometimes if the conditions are right. I wonder about a gelatinous napalm type thing. And does the wizard know how to make napalm? Well, napalm is a, a, a particular type of jellied fuel. So I'm gonna make a version of it anyway with, with the chemicals I have here in the laboratory. And you know, I'm a chemist, by the way. That's, I'm a licensed certified chemist. Chemists design molecules to behave certain ways. If I have a job that I wanna get done, a chemist can figure out how to assemble some molecules to do that function. Like, let's think one you'd know, paint thinner. I want to have something that will clean my paint brushes. Take the paint off the brush without dissolving the brush. And so a chemist, in some form, designed paint thinner. So uh, we're going to put some chemicals together with a specific purpose in mind. Ethyl alcohol, ooh, 200 proof. Whoop. I'm not much of a drinking man, but I do know what proof means. Beers are 6.4% or proof or whatever, you know, 3.2% alcohol. This is pure ethanol. Uh, now that looks like a wizard pan, doesn't it? This old pan's been around for a while. Sweet. I'll put a little alcohol in this old gnarly looking pan. So let me see if this stuff burns. There we go. Yep. There it is. Ah. So a chemist, I'm sure somewhere, long time ago, way far away, said, you know, it's nice to have flames. We need to have flames to uh, warm things, cook things and all that sort of thing. But just using a plain old liquid is clumsy and you spill it and it's just, it's dangerous and all that stuff. So somebody came up with the idea how you would take the liquid fuel and still allow it to burn, but maybe so you don't spill it and maybe slow it down a little bit because this, I mean, I just lit this and you know in what, less than a minute it's all gonna be burned up. I don't know, how would you slow that flame down a little bit without putting it out? I shall now smother the fire. You've seen this stuff, I'm sure. Sterno, that's a brand name. And it's a, just a jelly and it's got ethanol in it. It's got an alcohol in it, but it's gelled. Look, it doesn't spill out easily. I could, I could probably shake it out there, but look, at that's a lot safer. You don't have to worry about knocking that over. It's burning all right. You just can barely see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but it's burning, it's burning slow and controlled. That's what we like. I took that ethanol and slowed it down a little bit. And the chemist figured that out. It still has some of the properties that the alcohol is still burning, but not, not nearly as fast as it was. So this is like a cooking show. You might not have some ethanol around the house. I know you want this. This stuff's 200 proof. This, uh, yeah, you have to have a license to get some of this stuff. What is this stuff? Everclear, yeah. This is 190 proof. So that's almost pu uh, pure ethanol. Everclear, wow. And by the way, some of you didn't know this, if you haven't studied chemistry, ethanol is grain alcohol and methanol is wood alcohol. Any chemical that ends in OL, methanol, ethanol, isopropanol is an alcohol. So what I'm going to do is to take these four chemicals here, being the chemist I am, and make some gelled alcohol. So what I need to do is to take this flammable thing and somehow get it into a jelly form or a solid. How would you do that? I still want it to burn, but I don't want it to splash out. And I want it to slow it down without smothering it. So I need to find a molecule that won't burn easily, right? And one that might 
be able to get a lot of stuff hanging on it, kind of like a Christmas tree. I can hang a lot of ornaments on a Christmas tree. I need a molecule that will accept things and let them get stick to it, and that's carbon. Carbon atoms are very welcoming. They Come on, stick to me. I've got some calcium acetate, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Those calcium acetate molecules, they're just laying there. They can't move about, they're just laying there. So in order to get them to be able to move so they can uh, start dancing, I'm just gonna put in a little distilled water, not very much. There you go. So all I'm doing is dissolving that calcium acetate. It's a salt. I would like to irritate it a little bit. You guys aren't dissolving as good as you should. You say, well, I'm kind of lazy. How do you get things to get more active? I'll take a little salt. Sodium chloride, I'll put a pinch in there. Feel like a Cajun cook or something. A little bit of salt. And of course, salt, sodium chloride, when it hits the water, ping, it breaks apart into sodium ions and chlorine ions. And those guys are real aggravating. They'll start a bar fight wherever they go. They just walk in the door and everybody gets angry. So now I've got the calcium acetate, and it's been irritated by the salt, ready for a fight. And so I'm gonna put the flammable liquid in there. Here we go. Now we'll just see what happens. It is like making homemade gravy. How much you put in there, Grandma? Oh, a pinch. Look at here. Something is happening. This alcohol is starting, it looks like it's clotting. It made a gel. It's like, it's like jello. Ah, we made sterno. I don't want to stir this too much. Kind of like making whipped cream. You can whip the cream into a foam. If you stir it too much, it, it liquefies. So look at that. I just made my primitive sterno. Now the question is, does it burn? Well, let's find out. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. It's not burning very fast, is it? That's kind of what we wanted. Kind of a controlled burn. That was my name when I was a dancer, you know, controlled burn. And see, I can kind of move this around and it doesn't, yeah, so it doesn't splash everywhere. That's pretty sweet. So we did a little chemistry. We designed a molecule to serve a function. I need a fire, but I'd like to slow it down a little bit, make it easier to control, make it a little bit safer. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we drop some napalm on a screen, if it'll go through. We're gonna do a Sir Humphrey Davy test. Just to answer your question, will napalm go through a screen? Things we must do for science. Not coming out. Oh. <laughs> 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 not coming. Not out. coming. Out. <laughs> you know that really looks kind of cool there, doesn't it? It's just got. It looks so harmless and benign. Big booger. Jake and the flaming boogers. I spilt that, and then now you want me to light it, don't you? You do, you sickos. I'm telling you. For now, I have a blob of sterno upon my table. I think I should light it if I'm able. Oh, sterno, sterno. Oh, so calmly, lighting the fire. What rhymes with calmly? I don't know. Balmly? No. It is snapping. Oh look, the surface is drying out. It's, it sounds like popcorn. It sounds like bacon frying. Okay. Okay. That's not so bad. You gotta be careful though. This is the dumbest thing. So the question is, how would you put this out? Let's do it. That's not very exciting. So here we are. These things just magically appear. Isn't it sweet? I just sat here and the thing magically appears. I've got a ring stand with a ring on it. Go figure. I wonder why they call this thing a ring. I mean, the science is so thick here today. Ring, ring stand. I've got some screen. That's for some really big molecules. That's to dissipate heat. We actually use these in a lab when we want to spread heat out. I've got this screen with big holes. I've got a, I guess, medium grade. And then this one's got uh, really fine mesh. So we're gonna do three tests here and see what happens. Spoonful of flaming mud here. Set it aflame up above and I'll drop it up right about here. Ready, three, two, one. Yeah, it went right through. Okay, Sir Humphrey Davy, we just blew up the miners. It went right on through. So much for that test. Let's do it again. Ooh, the flying flame. Woo. So let's try now the uh, medium size screen. Medium screen test, there it is. We go up about this high again, I'll drop it. See what happens. Man, a little bit made it through. Wow, look at that. There was a little bit of liquid on the outside of that that made it through, but that solid stuff did not make it through. And it's, it's look at that. Look at that little flame going under there. But you know, it's not burning on the top. So I guess it's still kind of working because the, the, the screen is, is spreading the heat out. 
So the screen kind of sort of works kind of sort of. Let's put the fine screen on there. I don't know if we're going to be able to draw any legitimate conclusions from this, but we're, we're testing with no expected results. Here we go. Same height. I'm going to drop it. See what happens. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's liquid oozing through there, but it's not burning. So Sir Humphrey Davy, I guess maybe your lamp still works. Sweet. Even with some uh, napalm. There's no flame on the underneath side on this one like there was on the other one. If the napalm passes through, it takes the flame with it. You gotta get the napalm through the screen. It didn't make it through the screen here. So maybe we could, to test our concept that the flame would stay above, what if we got the thing moving faster? Maybe it would make it through. And you know, we're in a three-story studio. So we're ready for the big test here in the lab. <clears throat> I've got an assistant up on the balcony Scotty's up, up, up there, and he's got... Uh, are you up there, Scotty? Got his thumbs up. He's ready to go, man. He's got the, he's got the flammable gelled gas up there. He's got an igniter. And you'll notice down here, close to the ground, there's some screen. Sir Humphrey Davies' screen. I'm sure he'd be proud of us. We're going to see if the flaming, gelled, burning fuel will go through the screen or not. Can you hear me, Scott? He can hear me. All right, we'll do it on a countdown. Three, two, one, drop, drop, and that was just a test run, perfect test run. Fire it up, test two, in three, two, one. And there was a hush in the crowd. Well, it didn't make it, it went out on the way down. It hit the screen on fire. It hit the, it hit the screen on fire. Why am I staying there? You don't have to yell at me. I don't have to yell at him. It did work. It worked. It, let's do it again. Wow, that's cool. It was on fire when it hit, but it lost its heat. What can I say? Sir Humphrey Davy, you are redeemed. Wait, we're going to compare our results with that of the professionally made stuff in a can. Three, two, one, here we go. The fuel went through, just like in the screen. The gas would go through the screen, but the flame did not. Let's give Sir Humphrey Davy a pause. Thank you so much for this. We expanded the knowledge horizon on the Davy safety lamp. Here it goes. Whoosh. No fire went through the screen. Well, thanks again for joining us here at Midnight Science Club. We got, we got to mess around with fire today, which you will not do at home. This is bad, you can't do it at home. We did it. I am a little bit disappointed today because I, I had the fire extinguisher out, had pulled the pin, ready to go. Didn't have to use it, draft. We actually did an experiment and the flame did not pass through the screen. The fuel did in some cases, but not the flame. The, the heat got left behind and that's pretty sweet. Got to practice our skills of thinking like a scientist. So if you want to do some more of this nonsense with us on a regular basis, you can find us all over social media. We'll be glad to have you as part of our family. Anybody want a hot shot?